Welcome back to the channel, fellas, and today we're bringing you Notre Dame, the 2019-2020 football season simulation. They just came off a college football playoff berth. Can they win it this year? Let's take a look at Notre Dame's schedule. We've got Georgia, Boston College, Virginia Tech, Bowling Green, Duke, New Mexico, Virginia, Stanford, Louisville, Navy, Michigan, and USC. They are not in the correct order. I would have to reorder the entire schedule for the entire season simulation for every team. I'm not going to do that. I got all of the teams here listed. Not in the correct order, but good enough to see what the simulation thinks they will do this year. Let's check out the depth chart. We've got Ian Book starting a former All-American in the simulation. We've got Jones followed by Armstrong backing him up at running back. We've got Scott, a true freshman fullback. We've got Boykin, the best wide receiver by far. Expect him to win an award at the end of the season. Backed up by Claypool, Fink, Austin Jr., Young, and Wilkins. A couple great tight ends here. We're going to go past the O-linemen real quick. Pretty decent defensive ends. Need a little bit of backup on the uh, defensive tackles. we got Adam Iolola and Tagovailoa. That's an interesting one. I did not expect to see that name. We're starting a free safety for the left linebacker since the other left linebacker is a 68 overall. We've got Genmark Heath as the middle linebacker and Lamb as the right linebacker. Love, the best DB on the team. He's pretty freaking good. Expect to see some big plays out of that guy this year. Gilman, free safety. Elliott, strong safety. Dewar, Dewar, Dewar as the kicker. Again, pulling double duty as the punter. Also, we've got Boykin and Armstrong doing the kick returns. Also the punt returns. And back to the quarterback. In book, expect big things from this guy. Let's see. Who's in the top five to start the preseason? The simulation has Ohio State number one, Alabama, Oregon, Texas A&M, and Michigan in the top five. Let's just see if we see any interesting things here. Utah number eight, Notre Dame there at number 13. Not a bad starting spot. And going down through the rest of the top 25, really don't see anything that shocking. We see Tulsa at number 34. And USC at number 28. But really, nothing too out of the ordinary. Let's get into it. Let's hit the simulation. And I'll see you on the other side. Welcome back. We're looking at Notre Dame's class. This is a beauty. Look at all these 80s and high 70s. Notre Dame, you are an absolute cheat code. That is ridiculous. Good lord, that is ridiculous. Look at this. Heisman, Bolitnikoff, Lombardi, Nagurski, Benedark, Maxwell, O'Brien, Walter Camp. School record. That is insane. Notre Dame, what are you doing? 50 touchdowns in a season. Another school record. Only three consecutive wins, so that means they lost. And three five-star prospects. 7-5. and five. Notre Dame only goes 7-5 and five after having those kinds of finalists, award finalists. Wow. Let's check this out. Conference standings. Notre Dame goes 7-5, 411 points for, only 225 points against. What happened? Ian Book, 251 out of 382 attempts, 3,600 yards, 34 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Armstrong, 787 yards, 10 touchdowns. Boykin, 1,500 yards. As a wide receiver, you've got Hades and Pry Jr. holding down the defense. Notre Dame loses the first three games of the season. Georgia, Boston College, Virginia Tech. And then they come back and whoop. Bowling Green, 70-7. They beat Duke. They beat New Mexico. They beat Virginia, and then they lose to Stanford in a close one by seven. They beat Louisville, they beat Navy, they lose to Michigan, and they beat USC, who also had a down year. So they lose all of the tough games. That's what I'm seeing. Notre Dame, come on. You've, you're better than that. Josh Jacobs from Alabama wins 
the Heisman. Wow. Rourke, Ohio, made it a close one. Only losing by 70 points. That's a pretty close race. Moss, Akers, and Swift holding down the bottom there. But Jacobs, 1,200 yards, 14 touchdowns, 440 yards, and three touchdowns receiving. Notre Dame gets into the Russell Athletic Bowl against Virginia Tech. Let's see what happens. Boykin with a school record, 1,653 yards as a wide receiver. That guy is a beast. Oh, great. Looks like Alabama won the national championship again over Florida State, 41-31. to 31. Then we've got A&M, Michigan, and Florida State, and LSU holding down the top five. No one really, uh, no one who's really that good. Virginia Tech, we see them at 11. And uh, then we're going on to see what happened. Conference standings. Notre Dame, 7-6, and six, losing their bowl game to Virginia Tech, 23-38. to 38. Even worse than the first loss earlier in the season. Very interesting they had a matchup. You don't see a matchup very often. But Notre Dame, you had a chance. If you stuck around for this long, I appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe. I love feedback. Thanks again. Peace.